All right, 102 jamscom you already know what it is. While I wake up, show in the building, man, Kyle Santillian. B. Dot was happening. I ain't got what he was going to say about that. <laughs> Trey hit me with this. I thought he was going to say him. You already know who this is, right? Trey Songz is definitely in the building, in the spot tonight. On G Tour tonight, five going on. Yes, Usher yes. Usher and Miguel and the whole nine. So we're here, man. What's going on right now? Like, what's what's been happening where we at right now? Oh, uh, well, this is an in store. You know, uh, shout out to Trey's Angels out there watching. Uh, and we just did about I got 200 yeah. CDs signing. You know, they come in and get. Uh, the love shown and, and my love back for their appreciation. Yeah. You know, it's been people here waiting since this morning. Right. You know right. what I mean? So that's that's love, crazy. Yeah, so they get in and we have our own moment as they get their CD signed. Right. We was outside. We were kind of like walking through the line, catching people on camera. They were really excited about meeting you. You know what I mean? And, and like, what do you want to say to Trey? I just want to tell him I love him. What do you want to say to Trey? If we had a chance to have Trey, I would just I would marry him. This that, and the third. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So when they come in here, you know what I mean? The eyes are bright. They're excited mm -hmm. to meet you. Like. You know, how do you like to greet these fans that just come in here and have so much love? And, and, and uh, sometimes they get here, they don't know what to say. They, say <laughs> they have so much to say out there, and some of them, you know, they spill. Some of them cry. Some yeah. of them, you know, uh, just smile and don't say anything. Or some of them tell me, like, a lot. You know what I mean? So it's different for every situation. It's nothing. Uh, I, I try to cater to every fan different, differently and, you know, being at this situation is so, uh, it's, it's a time constraint on it. We try to make sure that we, we can please everyone as fast as possible and make sure everybody leaves feeling gratified. When you were uh, coming up in the game, right, and trying to get on, you're a young cat, you know what I mean, you got your vision of what you want your career to be, what you want to do, and I'm sure you envision moments like this, Definitely. you know what I mean? So when you think about um, how you wanted it to be and how it is. Does it live up to those expectations or is it something uh, it's, that's different? You know it's, I mean? it's definitely not as, uh, as everything that you would expect it to be. Not saying that it's anything less of that. It's just right. different. Right. You know what I mean? Then when you, when you dream something, you know what I mean? First and foremost, this is surpassed. The reality of living my dream has surpassed anything I could have imagined. Right. You know, because when God paints a picture, he does it like no other. You know, so uh, it's definitely lived up to the expectations, surpassed, and then it's just things you wouldn't expect to happen. Like the, with every good, there's some bad, and you just got to know how to take it. And you know, um, it's the album title, Passion, Pain, and Pleasure. You know, it's I'm very passionate about what I do. It's, it's pain and the, the sacrifices made within my life, and it's pleasure. And you know, lines of people waiting to see you and sold out venues, and just knowing people love you and have love for the music that you create all around the world. We, uh, you know, your song is about having a lot of jams right now. Um, can't be friends. You want to hear, hear something funny? Two grown men in the radio station. <laughs> <laughs> Singing Sing that can't be the friends in the water. Like, damn, Trey was going through something when he That's wrote this. Like, you know what I mean? And feeling like y'all can relate to what he's talking about. You know what I mean? Where, where's the inspiration for that song come from? Is it a real situation or something you wrote? Somebody? You no, it's, def it's definitely a situation I've been through. Not to every lyric specification, yeah. but I wanted to generalize it in a way where as though you, 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 you could feel right. the lyrics at some point in time. And uh, I think it, it got that vibe across that everybody can relate to the scenario in one way, shape, or form. You know? I'm yeah. thinking whatever chick you're singing about in that song, like if she actually really cut you off and that your career is where it's at, she probably feel like an ass right now. Right. <laughs> at this point, you know what I mean? At you this point, she does. She's going to speak on it. Yeah. <laughs> ha, ha, ha to you. <laughs> I want to ask her a question, man. Like, we know you sing, we know that you, you, you're getting your model on, you know. Clearly, are the heartthrob of every chick. But for the fellas that rock with you, yeah. like, what is it that you do on our level? Like, are you a gamer? Do you are you on the systems? Oh anymore? yeah, I'm on the Xbox every day yeah. for the show. Yeah, yeah. that's what you do. Uh, yeah, I'm on that three. Call of Duty. I'm on that. Uh, I'm on that uh, NBA 2K. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm a regular dude, man. I just get more girls than y'all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, let me start hitting the weights and beefing up, and I might be in it this <laughs> time. So you got the show tonight. Um, Trey is here, is in town for the OMG tour. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, here's one of my questions, right? There was a time, Usher's career was here. He was married. You know what I mean? A lot of people looked at him as falling off. Mm -hmm. He gets divorced, he's back on top. I remember at the time when he wasn't necessarily popping um, for a minute, people was like, oh, well, Usher's out the way. Like, Trey Songz is here now. And people said this, you know what I mean? So now, it's kind of good in my eyes to see both of y'all on the same show. Because I always had the philosophy of why does one dude have to necessarily be low for the other one? And we've had this in, in the studio. In R&B. In R&B. Like, why can't Usher and Trey Songz exist at the same time? Or any R&B dude? Yeah, well, you, you know, know what I mean? OMG, like, we out here. That's dead yeah. and all of that. You know, uh, and to think back uh, to even a year ago, we did the Inventus Sex remix together, which right. was, you know, uh, a dead to all that people trying to put. Because people would try to put people against one another. Right. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's human nature. 
Right. You know, so what I love about this tour is just Usher with his longevity and having bounced back from that little slump where he still went platinum 1.5. Uh, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. bouncing back so in, in such an extraordinary way and having me alongside him is just something to 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 the uh, growing of my status and my 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 not only my status but my my ranking in the game okay. to be able to be on the tour with someone like him. So that's that's amazing. <laughs> so Trey's getting ready for the show tonight. Um, any last thing for anybody watching this video? Uh, to the, just to the people that supported me and to the people that uh, have been the foundation of my career, I appreciate you because without you there is no me and I thank you for the continued support and continued love that you continue to show me. Alright, I appreciate you. No doubt. Alright, no doubt. No doubt. How's your week, fam?